Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare the Shaw MV7 microphone seen here with the HyperX Quadcast seen on the left here. That's the Blue Yeti Nano on the right, and I'll be doing a video separately on that. Now, I've unboxed both the HyperX Quadcast and the Shure microphone separately, and I'll link to those videos so you can check them out. I'm also hoping to do the new HyperX Quadcast, the RGB model, soon, so be sure to subscribe and see that. If you enjoy this video, you'll enjoy that one too. Now, I want to compare these microphones because they are interesting in the different features that they offer and the setup process and the quality of the capture. The HyperX Quadcast is striking in its design. You can see the Shaw is a lot more understated, has that traditional Shaw look to it, a very black, bold microphone with a good capture quality. The Quadcast is quite striking with red interior and red shock mounts and other things. Both have a number of really nice features to them though. You'll see the Quadcast comes with its own stand. The Shure MB7 does not. It has this attachment as standard that's designed to be mounted on a boom arm. You can buy a desk mount separately and then install the microphone on that but otherwise it's basically designed to go on a boom arm or mic stand and you can see the Build quality of it, good, solid, robust looking build quality. It is an expensive microphone though, so you do get what you pay for. The HyperX Quadcast should not be dismissed though. This was a really good microphone and one that I really enjoyed using. It has a number of really nice features to it, not least of which is that design, but it also comes with all sorts of things that you'd usually pay extra for. For example, it has a built-in shock mount that you can see here with these red bits of string. I want to say string, but it's more like a rope because it's that good quality, bouncy, responsive design here. As a built-in pop filter, built-in shock mount, it obviously comes with its own stand. It's also boom arm mountable, and I'll show you that a bit later on. And a really good, solid design to it. It means it can capture good audio quality without pick picking up knocks and bangs on the desk or annoying background noise that you don't want. It also has multiple different polar pattern that you can choose from. So you, if you're a content creator or a streamer or just recording voiceovers like I do, you can set it into cardioid mode and get it just capturing from one direction. But if you want to use it for podcasting or interviews and have people sitting around it talking, you can do that with other settings as well. So there are different capture options available, which makes it really simple to use. Whereas the MV7 is really designed for one person to talk into and that's it. This is a USB microphone that connects with a USB mini to your PC. It also has a headphone monitoring jack at the rear. Really straightforward connection, plug and play affair, no hassle, no software to download, just plugs in and then records with whatever you want to use, whether that's streaming software or like I would do, use Audacity Record. On top, it has a capacitive mute button, which is basically touch sensitive, so you can mute without having to press and click on a button on the microphone you can just tap gently to mute it really simple design very nice feature and that's the highlight of the hyperx it has multiple different features like that you can see for example you have a light to let you know when it's muted as well so it's immediately visible and it lights up and that changes color and you know when it's muted and when it isn't at a glance so that's a fantastic thing little simple thoughts that have gone into the design of the quadcast that make it great the shore mv7 is similar in those thoughts that have gone into it because this is not only a micro usb microphone that will work with pc and with phones that you can use it you micro usb to usb c connection you also get a lightning connection if you want to use it on an iphone but it also has an xlr connection meaning you can plug it into an xlr amplifier like the go xlr mini or something else like that to use a full-on xlr microphone cable and get a much better audio capture quality and that is comparable more to the Shure SM7B which is their premium microphone and a very good quality. Out of the two the MV7 undoubtedly captures the better quality especially if you've got it in XLR mode and you're using something in the Go XLR Mini which I've done a video on separately so check that out as well. Now this microphone as I said doesn't come with a desk mount of any sort although you can use it in desk mode especially when it's in usb mode because there's software that allows you to set it up and tell the mic that you are away from it rather than close to it and then it will adjust the levels and you can set it to automatically adjust those levels and capture your voice at a good level 
even if you're speaking quietly at a distance. And I found that it was really good for doing that. However, to get the best quality of capture, mounting it on a boom arm and getting it as close to your mouth as possible is definitely the way forward. And that is what I'm doing right now because the audio you're listening to now is with the microphone in USB mode on a boom arm right next to me. You can plug in both the USB and XLR cables at the same time and use them to capture the same audio through different sources. And that's pretty clever too, it's pretty nifty. So the MV7 allows for different audio captures, but also allows for plug and play. What makes it interesting is that it's, it's a reasonably affordable microphone. It's quite expensive, don't get me wrong, but it's also an entry level into XLR mics without spending a fortune. So if you buy this microphone, you can use it in USB mode. And then at a later date, you can upgrade and get an XLR cable and an amplifier, the equipment to use that properly and have like an XLR setup and route your audio through it and have a much better professional streaming and content creation experience. It also captures probably a better quality, but it lacks some of the things that the quadcast does. It doesn't have a shock mount built into it, for example. There's no decent desk stand as standard. It doesn't have a simple tap to mute functionality. There are controls on the mic for muting it, but it's a bit fiddly and not as good. It's not as nice looking as the Quadcast, which as you can see is a really good looking microphone. Be sure to check out the Quadcast video to hear the microphone capture quality. I was really impressed with it when I used it. It was a great mic. It's affordable and it's really good quality, but both of them are very good mics for different reasons. And you can see they both feature rich in a number of different ways. The sure I feel like is probably a bit more robustly built. It's certainly a very solid bit of kit with a very nice design to it. I think it will last longer if you're heavy handed or a bit clumsy. The quadcast might not stand up to abuse over the years, but they both capture a very good quality of audio and they're both very nice mics with really good design features. I really like the way they've set this up and the fact that you can use it with USB and XLR so you can make the move into it. So if you've been considering the Shure SM7B but can't quite stretch to it in terms of your budget and the XLR that you'd need to go with it, then this is a great option. Hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Be sure to check out the description for the specs and all the other information you need to know about these mics. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting, and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you. And have a great life.